Hey guys, welcome back. So the day I filmed this was stinking hot and we are in summer in Australia. So I decided what better time than to do a summer tutorial. So I started out with the Benefit mattifying gel just to keep any oils at bay through the day. Then I used the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer because I find that one helps my makeup stay the longest. Then I used the Fenty Beauty foundation but I also showed you another option which was from the drugstore which is the Maybelline Super Stay foundation. I find that one lasts a long time too but I went with the Fenty for today because honestly it's one of my favorite foundations at the moment. When I want my brows to last through the heat I love to use a pomade or a cream product so I'm using the Benefit Cabrow on the Benefit Brow Defining Tool. It has a little spoolie on the end so I just pretty much follow my natural shape and fill them in and then spoolie them through. And then I'm going in with the brow powder from Benefit which is called the Browsings. I find this just helps it last even longer. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to prime using Tarte Shape Tape. I actually find this to be one of the best eye primers in the world. Literally, I love doing this now. It's pretty much all I ever prime my eyes with. So. I applied some of that and then we're going into the Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette from Sigma which can I just say I'm in love with. This palette is seriously next level good. So I took the matte whitish shade and set the lids down and then I applied some tape to the outer corners. Then I'm going in with this brownie kind of shade. I don't know any of the names, I'm so sorry, but they will be listed down below in order of when they were used. But I'm starting to just buff this one into the crease using my E40. Then I took this gorgeous medium toned warm brown and I am popping that into the crease as well. I'm keeping everything out of the outer corner because I do go ahead and cut the crease after I do all of this crease work. So yeah, keeping it pretty high up and then I went in with this reddish pinkish kind of shade. This is so pigmented, you can see literally how pigmented it was. And I used an E25 and I just applied this into the crease and sort of, as you can see, I kind of winged it out in the outer corner just to give it that cut creasy kind of effect. Then I took my Tarte Shape Tape once again and an E, I mean, sorry, an F75 concealer brush. And I just carved out where I wanted my lid to be shown. Then I took this burgundy purpley kind of shade from the palette and I just applied that to the outer third of the eye. Kind of think it looked weird in the end, but I kind of liked it. I don't know, it's hard to explain. You guys let me know what you think. But then I went in with this champagne shimmery gorgeous shade and I applied it to the inner portion of the lid. And I did take it on my finger just to make sure it was like super intense and shimmery. And then I went back in with the E40, just blended the top, and then with the E25, I blended right in that crease where the crease shades meet the lid shades. Then I took this Sigma Line Ace Liquid Liner in Legend, which you guys know is my new favorite liquid liner. I'm obsessed. And I created a wing with that. Then I just removed the tape and applied some a black pencil into my tight line. Sorry, I had a mind blank then. Then I went in with a coat of Benefit Their Real Mascara and then I poops, pooped, I put some false lashes on and I used the Klepke lashes in the style Mykonos. Love these lashes. So I plonked those onto my eyes and pinched them together with my lashes. Then moving back onto the face, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape again. This one's in Fair Neutral, by the way. It's my lighter shade because I wasn't very fake tanned. Actually, I wasn't really at all fake tanned in this video. Um, so I applied it down the center of my face and underneath my eyes as I normally do and used my F04 brush from Sigma to blend everything. And then to set all of the concealer, I used the RCMA No Color Powder and I used an F64 to press that into my skin pretty much where I concealed. Then I'm taking my Tarte Clay Play palette and I'm taking the shade Terracotta, which is a bronzer slash contour shade. And on my F23 brush from Sigma, I'm just applying this to the outer perimeters of my face. Look how pigmented this is, holy crap. And I was pretty fair, so it really stood out. So I made sure I went in with my 
original F88 that I applied my foundation with and just blended out the edges to make sure everything was seamless but I do love these bronzers they are so pigmented and beautiful and I love them then for blush, I took the NYX blush in, I forget, I'm so sorry, but I'll have it listed down below. Um, and I just applied that to the apples of my cheeks and towards my hairline. Then I used this shade from the Mecca Enlightened Trio. It's from the Mecca Cosmetica brand and oh, my mum bought me this for Christmas because I had it on my list. It is amazing, I would highly recommend it. It's now a permanent product too, just so you guys know. And then I set everything with my Cover Effects uh, Mattifying Setting Spray to make sure that that summer heat was not going to melt my face off. Then moving back onto the lower lash line, I took that original light brown shade and buffed it underneath. Then go going in with the medium brown, I just did the same thing, but I used my E25 so it was more precise and packed on a bit more colour. Then I took that pinky red shade and I just did the same thing just to tie everything in. And then I went back in with that purpley shade and kind of applied it to the outer third of the lower lash line. And then going back in with that pinky champagne shimmery shade, I did the same thing but on the inner portion of the lower lash line. And then I wanted my highlight in my inner corners to stand out so I went back into my Mecca palette and just highlighted my inner corners using that because it was so much more like intense and so pretty. Then I used this gorgeous like plummy liner from Rimmel in my waterline. I feel like it tied everything in so nicely. And then I finished off the lower lash line with a coat of mascara. Then to finish up the look, I used my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Aquarius, which is the Kathleen Lights. Collab, it's one of my favorite lip liners ever. And then to fill them in, I used one of the new Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Blush. And that completed the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and leave me any requests for palettes or anything you want me to use in future tutorials and I will. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one.